Hello everybody and welcome back to Doesn't Fox Play I'm Fox and this is Jedi Fallen Order. Let's okay, let's scout this place out. So we have that guy. Got several of the mountain goat looking things over here. At least three that I can see. Um okay, we can basically just jump down anywhere, it looks like. There might be more enemies hiding around here though. Let's Let's hop down here. Got another door here that we can't open without the a certain power. Another one of these. I wonder if they connect. That's a good uh, good wonder you got there. Um Oh, I see something over there. Oh, hey. Ow. Got him. Somehow that guy just blended in. Let's open up this box here. Like how he's oh okay like he's surprised that BD eight or BD one or whatever his name is is it gonna go down in there. He does that every single time. It's always the same. No okay let's do this smart. Just try to draw aggro on one of them at a time. There we go. Come at me, bro. Oh he got me. Help BD one. Can you jump down here? Nice. Good deflection there. Oh, hey. How's it going, bro? Oh, I missed him with my dash attack there. Oh, he got me. That's all right. We're real close. I gotta get better at blocking and deflecting. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go after the guy that hurt us again. He's over there. Okay, yep. No, let's go after this one first. We're not really going to be able to take out the the one that we need to without taking out this guy. Dang it. What the crap? I was blocking on that one for sure. There we go. Still not sure how blocking somebody with a lightsaber isn't any different than hitting somebody with a lightsaber. Like, it doesn't become less lightsabery when I'm in a blocking stance. There we go. Got him. Okay, let's go after this one. What? Oh, I was... I guess I can't jump while blocking. Doesn't make any sense.
Oh, we're just racking up some uh, some experience here, I guess is what we're doing. It has been a little while since I've played, so i got to get back into the, uh, the old mechanics of the game. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go around this way. Well, there's that first one that we fought that last time. Okay, got him. Let's go up this way so that we can just take on this guy first. There we go. Got him. I want to clear these guys out. Is there another one up here? Yeah, there's one up there. Okay. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh! He followed us. What the? Oh, he just climbed on up, didn't he? Oh, no. We got two of them now. That was bad. Not even anywhere near him. Alright. Follow me. Come on. I need help. What? How, my lightsaber went right through him. <laughs> what just happened? Come on. What? Okay. Man, I do not... <sighs> Again, can't jump while blocking for absolutely no reason. Not a huge fan of... I feel like they were like, let's make it Dark Souls, but also let's not make it as good as Dark Souls. <sighs> okay. This whole episode is just going to be a uh, goat murder. There we go. Get up there. Come on. Yeah, I want to fight you without fighting the other guy. Got him. What? Um. <sighs> this is getting super annoying. Okay, let's try this again. I'm I'm going to kill these stupid freaking things. What? He didn't move. Okay, one. I think there are a total of 5 of these goat guys around here. 
fine. What are you... What? <sighs> yeah. This, this game is kind of sloppy. See, why can't I... climbed up here before. What's going on? Ugh. Okay, got him. Okay, your turn. Oh, that was close. Can't knock him off the edge for no reason. Physics don't work in this game. Oh, he, then he fell. He fell out. Once you die, you're now susceptible to gravity. <laughs> All right, scan whatever that is. New. Oh, we got a new seed for the terrarium. I'm wondering if those will actually like do anything or if it's just a uh, meaningless collectible. I don't have a problem with meaningless collectibles, but it is better when they actually do something. When they actually have a purpose, otherwise it's just kind of wasted time programming them. Okay. Let's look around some more. Ooh, any... Nope, can't go back there. What's back here? Okay, we got a path. Okay. I think our goal is to get in there. Eye of the storm. storm do that before. Yeah, it's incredible. Yep, I figured. Wow, I just slowed down the entire storm. Okay, we got a thing. Looks like it needs some kind of push. Oh. down into this Bogano vault or whatever it is maybe we'll get force push while we're down there you can slow things down but we can't push things with the force for some reason I'm in the tomb it's massive and the Empire no sign of them down here what about Cordova Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. What is that? Oh! Yep, okay, that makes sense. The Eye of the Storm. The crew traveled to the... Ze oh, this is just a summary of what's happened. That was a weird exploding plant. Okay, can't climb up there. All right, so let's go this way. Need force push to push that giant ball down here. Okay, then maybe this isn't the way we go. OK, 
Okay, let's try going up here again. Did we miss something? Did you see that? Ugh. Toss me a stem, BD1. I'm okay. Oh, we can go through here. Okay. Skungus. Oh, you're, you're a freaking skungus. Avoid contact, moving carefully around Central Pod. Explosive core may be utilized as a defense against other enemies. Parasitic plant-like organisms contain explosive toxic pores, which may detonate when a threat approaches. Smaller pods burrow underground in clusters to com comprise a larger central hive. Known for their putrid smell and soft brain-like tissue, various forms of the invasive species exist. Okay, so they're basically landmines we gotta walk around. Oh no, oh no. Right into one. Just terrible. Oh, he got me. Oh, another force push thing. Alright, well that was our last one. So let's go look around. What? Why didn't... My lock-on just breaks off some sometimes. What just happened? He like jumped. That was weird. Whoa, okay. All right, let's jump up here. Right, it doesn't automatically attach to a climbing surface. Oh, dear lord. Okay, let's get up there. We just had to get it swinging. Oh, oh! Thank the Lord, we got a meditation spot here. Very much needed this. It's rest, of course. Okay, it doesn't have to tell me that every time, guys. Skill tree. I know what that does after doing it once. Leaping slash. I only have one skill point, so. Sprint strike. Let's go for it. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special lightsaber attack, and that's just with square. Okay, cool. Simple enough. I like it. So that's, if we open that thing, it's going to push this 
fall into. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, that opened up this path. Let's check around a little bit more. down here got a couple little pressure plates never seen that before whoa okay some sort of oh I guess that's not blockable go. Alright, idiot. Takes barely any damage from my lightsaber attacks. Get out of there. Mother of Pearl. Come on. There we go. Get out of here. It's gonna explode or something, probably. Or not. Well, we got him. Tomb Guardian. Strong, slow, and protected by a central power core. When glowing power core may be removed, the external force and careful skill allowing a critical attack on the Guardian. Okay, we can force push its core out, probably. An ancient automaton constructed by the Zepho. It is believed that the Tomb Guardian's central function was to protect sacred sites. As details of their abilities remain mysterious, it encounter if encountered, one should proceed with extreme caution. Cold and indifferent, they attack not out of malice or defense, but from a program response to intruders known for powerful and blockable strikes. They can prove especially threatening in limited areas without space to dodge their attack. Primary vulnerability appears to be the power core located above their central abdomen. Any disruption of the core should provoke a shutdown. Okay. But we can't. Okay. He was just kind of chilling there, I guess. Alright, let's go up the path that we opened up before. You know what? No, we're gonna use the, uh, we gotta use the meditation spot again. It probably is gonna respawn that guy. But, that's alright. I don't think we'll have to fight him again if we just follow the path that we opened.
Yep, he's still he's standing there again. Breaking these pots doesn't do anything. I need to stop. Oh, water slide. Oh, okay. Gotta run along the wall over there. Ugh. <sighs> okay, finally made it. Took a quarter of our health to get across a gap, but we did it. Okay, we got super windy right there. Oh, we, oh I was very worried that this was just a crazy fall right here. Okay, can't get up there. Okay, do I need to run? Okay, what else can I do? What do I do? There we go. All right, more explosive things. Why don't they explode when they get near them? Oh, there's another one. There's a surprising amount of platforming I have to do in this game. Okay, more explosive things. This way. Oh, that got rid of those? Oh, okay. Or not. It made them go down into the ground, I guess. It just happened where they weren't there before. Oh, they just fly out when I get near them then. Oh good, a guardian. Oh, 
I definitely dodged. Wow. Okay, let's just go through all that platforming again. Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. Ugh. Guess a lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs> All right, didn't work that time. go All right, we're finally back. Got him. That was close. Okay. I'm gonna get back there. I'm sure we gotta use this thing to lift us up. Yep, help us jump. Okay. I wanna go over the other way first. See if we can, at least. Almost had it. There we go. What's back here? Some kind of statue. 
These statues were carved from the natural cavern walls. They depict Zepho holding spheres, possibly the same kind he used to power their tombs. All right. Some kind of vision, or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, got me. That one got me. Focus. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. Oh, now we get force push. Push the ball before it reaches you. Use the force to push the ball at the target. Come on. Good. Continue. Okay, so there's a bit of a delay. Faster now. Complete the test. There we go, the finally. Comes the way. I did it. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a rosier tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. During his exploration on Zeppo, Master Cordova uncovered a temple dedicated to the sage Isle Ram. This exploration revealed further mysteries of the ancient culture, including their fascination with Kashyyyk, the homeworld of the Wookiee civilization. Curious to learn more, Cordova's path took him to Kashyyyk, where he sought wisdom from his old friend and Wookiee chieftain Tarful. Oh, hey, how's it going? Guardian just out of nowhere. This is how we killed him easily. Nice. Still locked on to him out even after he's dead, huh? Alright, well that's where we're going to finish this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you next time here as we continue to explore. Bye, everybody.